In my last top five video, I focused on the negative side of aviation movie making. So for this video, I've decided to go with my top five favorite aviation scenes. Now, of course, there are loads of amazing aviation scenes in movies. So if I've missed any that you really enjoy, leave it in the comments and I'll see about getting a part two. Dunkirk was the last part of France to be taken over by the Nazis and it was a tense time for the UK as 400,000 British soldiers were trapped in this small part of France. The UK were also in a tough situation as they couldn't send an overwhelming amount of help to Dunkirk as any planes and ships that were destroyed at Dunkirk would mean less planes and ships for the battle for Britain. It's a very intense movie and it's one of the best out there. The aerial shots in this movie were made with real planes and next to no CGI. I suspect that some of the onboard shots like this one were actually filmed on yaks as the nose doesn't really look like a Spitfire, but it could very well be the angle. However, there were a lot of amazing scenes with Spitfires and Messerschmitts that I'm going to play for you now. 40 gallons for this one. 40 gallons, understood. Thank you. 11 o'clock. She's lining up to drop her load on that minesweeper. Fighters? Yep, 109's off our starboard. Well, I'm on the bomber. She's turning, you must have damaged her. Where's he got scrapped? Well, I got one in. He's turning tail. I'm gonna get after him. Good luck. Watch your fuel. You're at 15 gallons. 15 gallons. Understood. Best of luck, Collins. Collins, do you read?
Sully, despite being on my last list, is an amazing movie. It reflects the real world event very well and has some amazing scenes. Again, this movie is packed with some great scenes, but I've decided to go with this scene for this video. But if you haven't seen Sully, definitely go and see it because it's an amazing movie. No relight after 30 seconds in your master one and two. Confirm off. Off. Wait 30 seconds. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. This is the captain. Brace for impact. 500. We can't make it. Okay, which runway would you like to teeter, bro? Go ahead, try number one. Number one. No relay. We're gonna end up in the Hudson. Too low terrain. I'm sorry, say again, Cactus? Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Put the flaps out. Flaps out. Cactus 1549 radar contact lost. Uh, you also got Newark off you at 2 o'clock at about 7 miles. Oh. Got flaps out. 250 feet in the air. Oh. 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 170 knots. Got no power on either one. Try the other one. Try the other one. 149. Still out? 150 knots. Got flaps to you. One more? No, let's do it. You got runway 29 available at Newark. It'll be 2 o'clock at 7 miles. You got any ideas? Actually, not. Pull up, 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 Now of course Mission Impossible is going to end up on this list. This specific scene is from Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. This involves Tom Cruise hanging off the side of an Airbus A400M. At the time of filming there were only two A400s that were currently flying. And so this gave some great publicity to the new aircraft. And as well I would like to add that the A400M is personally my favourite military cargo aircraft. Can you open the door? Ethan? Who are you? I'm by the plane. Benji, can you open the door? Uh, can I open the door? Uh, maybe. Open the door when I tell you! I'm on the plane! Open the door! How did you get in the plane? Not in the plane! I'm on the plane! Open the door! Benji, open that door right now! Yeah, I'm trying! Come on, Benji! Benji, open that door! Come on, come on, come on! Not that door, the other door! 
The other door, right, yes, the other door. Okay, oh, yes, 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 sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Hello, Hajo. All right, look, I'm gonna open the power door. How's that? The Dark Knight Rises has been recognised as one of the best movies ever made and so with a title such as that, of course the aviation scene is going to be a good one. Again this scene was shot in real life with next to no CGI. The flight plan I just filed with the agency lists me, my man Dr. Pavel here, but only one of you! First one to talk gets to stay on my aircraft! Who paid you to grab Dr. Pavel? He didn't fly so good! Who wants to try next? Tell me about Bane! Why does he wear the mask? A lot of loyalty for a hired gun! Well, perhaps he's wondering why someone would shoot a man before throwing him out of a plane. At least you can talk. Who are you? It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. Was getting caught part of your plan? Of course. Dr. Pavel refused our offer in favor of yours. We had to find out what he told you. Nothing. I said nothing. Well, congratulations. You got yourself caught. Sir? Now what's the next step of your master plan? Crashing this plane. No survivors! Expect one of us to the wreckage, brother. Have we started the fire? Yes. The fire rises. Calm down, Doctor. Now is not the time for fear. 
That comes later. And at number one, I've decided to go with a sadder aviation scene. Although this is rather an upsetting one, it's still one of the best aviation scenes of all time. United 93 tells the story of the fourth plane that was hijacked on September 11th, 2001. The first two hit the Twin Towers, the third one hit the Pentagon, and the fourth one was the only hijacked aircraft that did not reach its target. The target is unknown, but people suspect it was either the Capitol or the White House.
And that does conclude my list. There are a ton of movies with some amazing aviation scenes, and so again, if I did miss any, leave it in the comments, and again, I'll see about getting a part two. But apart from that, I want to thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.